All right, guys, we are back for another episode of Pimp My Ride, Royal Enfield and Mark fucking Howard style. We're in Sydney South at a place called Colour Fuel. Our mate Sam owns the place and our mate Dan works at the place and these guys do all the colouring for all our motorbikes. So let's go inside, show them the parts that we've got today and uh, figure out what we're going to do with this paint job to make it pop bang and look sick. All right, Sam and Dan are nowhere to be found. So let's just quickly check out some of the parts that we've got before, they, well, before we find them. Now this, I don't know if I gave this enough love, but this is a front bikini fairing from Autolog. Again, Autologe, Autologe. Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, but these guys have sent this from India all the way here. It is literally the main piece of the motorbike for us. We really wanted that classic style, and this comes in a pretty cool sort of fiberglass setup. It comes with all the mounting systems that you need, and we've also got some other bits and pieces from them as well, and, and, and really this is the highlight of the build, and this is what's making us most excited. But it looks like the boys are here, so let's get them on camera. <laughs> hey boys. All right, to your left, you've got Dan. Say hello, Dan. Hey, what's up, man? And to your right, you've got Sam. Say hello, Sam. Hello. And obviously this hasn't been staged at all. So let's check out some of these pieces that we're painting up today. So Sam is the owner and Dan is the man, whatever the fuck that means. Um, Sam, tell us a little bit about what you do here. Um, custom paint. We specialize in motorcycle paint and bicycle paint. That's awesome. And, and Dan, you're the one that I've been contacting for this one. We're pretty excited to see where we can get to it. So I sort of thought we'd bring all of us together and try and figure out exactly what we're going to do. I'm at a point where I don't want a pretty screen. I think that's overplayed. I want something that's really bright, something that sort of hints on green, um, but something that as it passes you, you're going to sit there and go, oh my fucking God, that was, what was that? And that's sort of what I'm going for. So let's play it by you. What do you guys have in store for you? You want something that jumps and pops, you know, breaks necks and then we go past. <laughs> He's going full exhibit on my ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? All right. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two. Uh, maybe a bit of metal flake and some candy and yeah, some nice lines. So my thought is we start with a uh, like a light green flake because if it's lighter, you can always darken it up, but if it's dark, you can't lighten it up. So we can start with this for a base. A really bright green. That looks awesome. Yeah, that is awesome, dude. Then we can like lay some shapes or some pinstripes in that color, and then overlay some dark green candy so we've got like that British racing green look but still have a bit more effect. Well I'm gonna leave all the shapes and designs to you guys because to be honest as much as I love the colour I want to be surprised in regards to what else we do it's sort of it's a bit exciting for me to be able to give you guys creative control of this. All I wanted to do was just make sure I was happy with the colour so I'm stoked. When do we get cracking? Now. Sweet. Now.